There are multiple factors that will come into play on the ACT math test. Two of them are factors and multiples. So let's get into them by starting off with a definition. The factors of a number are all the numbers that divide evenly into that number. Basically, they're numbers that you can multiply to get the number you want. You might remember that every number has one and itself as factors. If it doesn't have any other factors, it's considered prime. Let's look at a number that has three pairs of factors. The number 12 can be divided by 3 and 4, 6 and 2, and 1 and 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are all factors of 12. The ACT might ask you to find the greatest common factor, which is the biggest integer that divides exactly into two or more numbers. Now, let's take a look at an example. What is the greatest common factor of 2 times a to the fourth and a cubed? Since we see variables in the question and variables in the answer choices, we know that we can use the picking number strategy to solve this problem. Let's pick 3 for a. Our question becomes, what is the greatest common factor of 2 times 3 to the fourth, which is 162, and 3 cubed, which is 27? Our answer choices become 3 for a, 3 cubed, or 27 for b, 2 times 3, or 6 for c, 2 times 3 to the fourth, or 162 for d, and 2 times 3 to the seventh, or 4,374 for e. Okay, big pay attention moment here. A greatest common factor can't be bigger than either number since it needs to go evenly into both numbers, so we can get rid of d and e. Now, since we're looking for the biggest possible number that will go into both, let's try answer choice b, 27, since that's our biggest remaining answer choice. To test if 27 is a factor of both numbers, we just need to see if it'll go into both evenly. Well, since 27 divided by itself is 1, that should work. And since 162 divided by 27 is 6, that works as well. Since we were looking for the greatest common factor, we can cross out A and C since they're smaller than B. Just like that, we have our correct answer. Now it's time to celebrate. Now that we've knocked out factors, let's go back to that other word, multiple. A multiple of a number, n, is the product of multiplying that number by another integer. So, multiples of 3 would include 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. Because 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. Of course, we could keep going forever, but then you wouldn't have time to take the ACT. Those are the basics, but you probably won't see anything that simple on the test. Let's look at an example ACT problem to get you up to speed. What's the least common multiple of 12, 20, and 40? Since we're looking for the least common multiple, we want to find the smallest number that 12, 20, and 40 all go into. The easiest way to solve this is to back solve, starting with choice A, 60, which is the smallest number and potentially the least common multiple. We see that 60 divided by 12 is 5, and 60 divided by 20 is 3, but 60 divided by 40 is 1.5. If we need a decimal, it's not a multiple. A is incorrect. Cross her out. Okay, moving on. Let's try B next, since that's the next smallest number in our remaining answer choices. 120 divided by 12 is 10, and 120 divided by 20 is 6. If we divide it by 40, we get 3. Since we're looking for the smallest number, we've got our answer. B is correct. Sweet triumph over factors and multiples is yours. Now, if you want to stay a champion all the way up and through this test, make sure you take advantage of all the practice problems we have available for you throughout this course.